Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in this video I would like to show you how to um, basically set up your solar panels for maximum efficiency. Uh, first of all let's go uh, through some theory crafting. I'm gonna pause the game here. So as you can see a solar panel has a width of 7 tiles. So basically you could place a solar panel every, every 7 tiles and that way cover the entire space biome at least in width. If you decide um, to place a solar panel below other um, solar panels you will not receive any light as you can see from uh, the light overlay and therefore not receive any power. So the power generated by this solar panel is gonna be always zero. And then let's explain uh, what I've set up here. Uh, the first solar panel is completely exposed to light, as you can see in the light overlay again. So seven tiles um, are basically yeah, shining onto the so uh, solar panel at maximum uh, uh, lux. And then for the next solar panels, I've blocked the access of light to the solar panel by one tile um, for each solar panel, I'm starting with one tile for the first solar panel, then two tiles, three tiles and so on, until finally seven tiles. As you can see, because the last solar panel is entirely yeah, blocked from light, um, there's zero power generated. That was to, to be expected again. So let's go through this. Um, as you can see, the first solar panel has a wattage of 140 seven something it will climb and to its peak the peak should be at 380 watts but we're not gonna wait for that um, instead I'm just gonna wait for it to drop 240 watts because that's uh, something that is easy to calculate for the moment as you can see it's becoming darker you can also see that in the light overlay the amount of lux is reducing so let's check the wattage again, let's pause until it has 140, okay. So what we basically see, again to remind you, 7 tiles in width. If every of those 7 tiles um, is exposed to light, we receive 140 watts in this situation. Then for the next solar panel where one tile is blocked, so just 6 tiles exposed uh, to the sun, uh, we receive 120 watts. And then further reducing if two tiles are blocked we receive 100 watts and so on 80 watts 60 watts 40 watts 20 watts i think you already see the the pattern behind this so to say so basically with this setup we are receiving 20 w watts per tile that is exposed to to the light so at this point um, it is pretty much clear what happens. Uh, it's not making any any difference on how you will set up uh, the solar panels in, in your base because it's just going to be a multiplier. So I've tested that also in this build. As you can see here we have th some kind of a pyramid, pyramid style setup for solar panels and again uh, if you check in the light overlay you can see that for the bottom four solar panels just one tile is exposed to light and therefore we only receive 20 watts for these four solar panels while the top panel which is entirely exposed to sun uh, at full width uh, creates 140 watts of power for our base so as you can see from from this yeah, set up. There's no difference on how you set up your your base. You can basically just place um, a solar panel every seven tiles, as close as possible together, and therefore you will receive the maximum amount of power from from the system or for, from the sun, if you will. Of course, this one looks a bit prettier, but there's no benefit from it because the amount of power you receive per tile is still the same. So. If you want, you can still go with this setup, but there's no gain in, in power efficiency. So, yeah, maybe one last thing to cover. Uh, if you decide, for instance, to place a window tile above uh, one of those solar panels, let's check what's gonna happen. And also with the diamond tile over here. 
140 watts, 140 watts. So we need to con compare with this one. Let's wait a second until it has reduced a bit. Maybe stop at 130 watts. 129.35. As you can see, uh, the light is being blocked from uh, reaching the solar panels, but not much. We are still receiving more uh, wattage than expected because this tile is not entirely blocking the light. As you can see in the light overlay, we are still receiving a good amount, maybe 90% of the light because yeah, these are window tiles. Also, what you can see here, it's no difference on which kind of material you use for your, uh, for your window tile. It's the same reduction you're going to receive. And that's also the, si the same with other tiles. If they don't block the entire light, uh, the solar panel will still create some power from it. So we can always use the light overlay to check the reduction if that's some kind of an issue in your base. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I appreciate if you consider to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.